welcome back to Beauty Bee. I am Iris. These are my hands. And what I've got laid out before me right now is my skincare. This is going to be the probably second part of my 2020, beginning of 2020, 2021 inventory. This is going to be all of the items that are not makeup. I will link the makeup portion up above and I think that's it for an intro. Let's get into it. So this is all of the skincare that I currently have and I think I'm actually doing really well on this front. Um, let's just start down here. I have four of these deep cleaning pore strips. I don't know if these are actually good for you. It's fine. Don't take my advice. As far as skincare goes, I use them very, very occasionally, and I feel like they do good. I'm not a dermatologist. Okay, now moving on. I have two moisturizers, which I think is probably a pretty good number for me. I have this Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. This is an acne-fighting one, as is this, the Soothing Clear Turmeric. This is a bit more lotion-y. I like to wear this during the summer and sometimes during the day because I feel like it's a little less heavy. This is more of a gel. I feel like it does a bit more, so I like wearing this at night as well as in the winter when I just feel like I need a little bit more moisture. Also, I mean, if you're a caffeine snob, you can just tune out for the next few seconds. But if you have ever had uh, a Tang tea, it smells exactly like that and it is delicious. Uh, I'm guessing that's what turmeric smells like. I don't know. I'm a American who doesn't have a very refined palate whatsoever, so I've never tried anything with turmeric in it that I know of. I have one sunscreen. That seems about right to me. This is the Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Sunscreen. I really don't have a whole lot left. I would not mind if this category crept up by one at the end of next year. I don't mind if I have a sunscreen and a backup. That's that's fine. An item probably just magically appeared. I realized that I'd forgotten my other pack of makeup wipes. But let's get it. Uh, let's start back with my eye makeup remover. I just have one of these, and I feel like it's a valuable step in my routine. I also have a jar of Pond's Cold Cream that is in my shower right now. I did not take anything out of my shower because I don't need to get water all over my floor. So some of these things you can kind of view as backups already. Um, I think at the end of next year, I would like to be down to either the cold cream or this. And I'm not sure which one I want it to be yet. I have two packs of makeup wipes. I would not be shocked if there is a third hiding somewhere around here, but I could only find two. I do like having these available because I think that on occasion and for swatches, they are really very handy. However, I don't find myself using these very much at all anymore. And I don't see any reason for me to have more than one pack at a time. I mean, I've gone through one mini pack and one regular size pack in the last six months. So the probably 30-ish that are in these two should last me quite a while. I have one other little treatment thing. I suppose this could have been in the same uh, category as the pore strips. This is an acne fighting gel. I do think it works pretty well. It's just salicylic acid in a tube. Um, oh, I mean, I'm going to keep using this. I've had this for ages, probably like too long, and there's still a lot left. So I don't think there will be any movement in this category unless I just decide that it's gone bad in which case it'll go. I have one backup cleanser. This is the watermelon gel cleanser from Clean and Clear. I also have a bottle of the um, 
morning burst one or you know some off-brand version in my shower right now i do pref i do like the morning burst one i just decided to get this because i think it was on some kind of coupon with this item so i'll give it a go once my other cleanser is gone and we'll see how i like it i am fine with having one cleanser on the go and then another one as a backup that's fine i don't really care about changing my numbers much in these categories overall with the exception of this i would like to be down to one backup scrub because i have a face scrub in the shower right now uh it really only has one or two uses left but i think that after that this accurate brilliantly brightening facial scrub will go in and then i've actually used a bit of this as well this is the up and up deep clean exfoliating scrub and yeah in this case i would like to be down to having one or maybe even no backups it's not a particularly necessary step in my routine i would be fine you know not having it for a couple weeks before i made a target or walgreens run I'm actually surprised by how reasonable these categories are. I have two body lotions. I feel like this is probably the first time ever that I've only had two body lotions. And this one is almost gone. I have like maybe two days left with this. And this one is completely full, but it took me about three or four months to finish this one. So this one should be gone. You know, I assume around the same amount of time um usually i have a bunch of these uh mini size bath and body works ones but i guess i just showed some good self-control over the past year yay for me i only have one perfume sample as well it is the rose of no man's land from byredo it is about half full or half empty depending on your uh, mindset and I actually do really like having a couple of perfume samples, so I would not mind at all if I acquired a couple over the course of the year. I tend to go through these in the, in the course of, I don't know, three weeks to a month of consistent use, so I, I really don't mind having them around. I only have one extra body scrub. I actually have a full size of this sitting in my, um, uh, actually, is it this one? I think it might be the up and up version of this St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub sitting in my shower right now. I use this on like my legs and my feet, not my face. I feel like it's a little too rough for that, but I do enjoy it. And I think it's a nice body scrub. And yeah, I feel like having one backup or better yet no backups is about the right place to be on this front. This is another area where I usually have a lot more. Uh, I have one full size body wash sitting in my shower right now, and I have three miniature um, Bath and Body Works travel sizes. I love this Pretty as a Peach scent. That's my favorite. Um, beautiful day is up there as well. It's kind of a nice, clean, crisp scent. Twilight Woods is a little bit muskier than I usually go for. But I do like it. I feel like it's a really nice, uh, especially winter scent. So, yeah. Um, I feel like I should probably try to keep it at around this level. I assume that I will probably get a couple over Christmas. But, yeah. At the end of 2021, I would like to be roughly here. You know, there might be one full-size one. Uh, not... Probably not from Bath and Body Works, probably um, one of the, like the Target or Suave ones, but this seems reasonable. This is fine. And then I also have three uh, body mists. One is from Pacifica. This is actually quite new. And then I bought these during the semi-annual sale. I want to say it was the semi-annual sale the summer before last. So... Yeah, 
I need to be better about this. I really am okay with having two. I think three is a little excessive. Okay, overall, this is probably the best that this category has ever looked for me as, you know, an adult. But there is still some work to be done. There is still some work to be done. Or what I, I'm, so I'm not sure what order I'm editing these into for the final video. But uh, in the last category, which was more my body care stuff, I said that it was uh, probably the best, the smallest that it's ever been. Uh, this is the opposite. This is all hair care stuff. And this isn't even shampoo and conditioner, which actually I don't have any extras of, which great. Though honestly, I don't care if I have an extra thing of shampoo and an extra thing of conditioner. That's fine. They get used. Whatever. Uh, what doesn't get used is all of this. <laughs> I only use sort of tops two of these at a time. Why do I have so many? Uh, let's start with this category. This is dry shampoos and conditioners. So I have one dry conditioner. It's from Aussie. I have two full-size Aussie dry shampoos. This is open, but I, I feel like there's at least two-thirds of a bottle left. This is completely unopened, as is this uh, Hask dry shampoo travel size. So I don't need dry shampoo for a very long time. Uh, Leave-in conditioners. I have a full size from Mark Anthony. This is actually, I think, pretty close to done. I feel like the product is probably down to around here now. I've had this for ages. I also have a mini Shea Moisture one. I have used this a few times and I like it. But, I mean, it took me so long to go through this. I, I didn't need to have a mini, even though I told myself it was for travel. Because, you know, we can't go without uh, leave-in conditioner for a few days at a time. This is the John Frieda Go Blonder. You spray this in your hair and then you blow dry or heat style and supposedly it makes your hair a little bit more blonde. I think this has worked really well for me at times. Um, I've just not been very good about using it the last couple of years. So I don't know if it's gotten a little bit less effective over time or what, but yeah, I've only used this, I think, once this year. I think I need to give it at least one more go. And there's probably, I don't know, maybe half a bottle left of this. There's quite a bit of product. Now, sort of curl cream, mousse, and uh, salt spray I've put in the same category. I've got this Not Your Mother's Beach Babe. I really do like this. I don't uh, like that I bought this though. I didn't realize just how many other products that did the same thing I had. Um, this is what is currently in progress. This is the Curls to Find Mousse from Dove. I feel like I've used a lot of this, but I really have no idea. It doesn't feel light yet, but I also can't hear a bunch of stuff moving around inside. So I've got no clue. I don't love this. Um, yeah, I want to try this out the next time I do my hair. And if I like this a lot, I will probably just toss this. This I've had for probably two and a half years. I've only really been using it consistently for the last six months, though. And while I like it, I've used other similarly priced drugstore brands that I liked a lot more. So I would not be sad to see this go. And I know that my family members that also use uh, Curl Defining Mousse do not particularly like this one. Uh, I bought this one day when I was really stressed out and just ended up in Target and I've never used it. This is the Nexus 
uh, mousse volumizing foam. And I don't know if this is meant to give me curl or just give me volume. And I probably won't know for quite a while because uh, I've got so much other stuff to go through. And yeah, I haven't had this for a very long time in the big scheme of things. I've probably only had this for a couple of months. And it was left here while I was at my parents' house for that like five month period. So yeah, never used that. These, I didn't realize just how similar these products were going to be when I purchased this. They're both kind of a anti-frizz, add some shine creams. This one I've had for years and I've only used a very small amount. Now part of that is that I've just not ever really been consistent about using hair product until really this year, end of last year. And part of that is that just that you need so little. Now for my heat protectant, this is fine. I'm fine with having one heat protectant. That seems about right. Uh, this one's from Tresemme. It is their Keratin Smooth. It's fine. I don't know. I don't, I've never had another heat protectant, so I have no other point of reference, but I think it's fine. I like it. It doesn't do anything bad to my hair. And then finally, I have this Aussie Headstrong Volume Hairspray. I've had this for literally years, probably like five years at this point, and I barely ever use hairspray. There is almost an entirely full bottle left. And this is sort of a placeholder product. I keep this because it keeps me from buying other hairsprays and so that I have it on those very, very rare occasions where I feel like I need it. So I think the uh, summary of this section could be, I don't need to buy any more hair treatments and I need to use some of them up this year. That's just what we're gonna stick with. <laughs> And now finally for nail polish and various nail things. This category I think is great. I've got one base coat, or sorry, backwards, one base coat, this uh, Sally Hansen Mega Strength Hardener, and one top coat from Simple Colors. Perfect. Love it. I have two cuticle creams. They're the same one. They're both from Burt's Bees. I think I've got both of these from my mom. She will sometimes get these in teacher gifts and then she passes them on to me. This one has some pretty good pan in it and I want to say that this one is practically untouched. Yeah, it looks like I've used that maybe twice. So I would like to finish one of them off and then just be down to one. I have no need for two cuticle creams. I have six of these mini nail polishes. I am actively working to pan these. And I'm actually getting close on this pink and this purple as well as this red. I feel like maybe even by the end of 2020, I can probably have at least one, maybe two of these gone. And I would like to be down to no more than one or two by the end of 2021. Now for full-size nail polishes. I have two Sinful Colors nail polishes. I bought both of these this year. I really, really like this green. Uh, this blue color has kind of a stupid texture. It's a sneaker-like texture, which is dumb, uh, but I don't like that as much. But they're both relatively, they're both quite new and I assume they will both be here at the end of 2021. Uh, these three Sally Hansen nail polishes. This one is new. Uh, this is very old, I think, but it still works fine and I'm nowhere near panning it. So I assume both of those will be around at the end of 2021. I'm gonna play around with this one a little bit more. I've never had a whole lot of luck with this polish. Uh, it just does not like to dry. So I'm gonna give it another couple of goes and if it doesn't work out, it'll have to go in the bin, unfortunately. Now I really like the Sally Hansen Insta Dry line in case you uh, 
were wondering. And I think this is actually probably the fewest of this line I've ever had as an adult. Um, I've got three grays, one silver, a dark gray, a light gray. This uh, time shade I purchased this year. I feel like this one is only maybe two years old as well. I really like this shade. And then uh, these five are all on the older side. I am actually getting fairly close to panning some of these. Um, this has a good dent in it, this dark purple one. Um, this deep gray also has a good dent in it. And this pink, um, I think you can see at some point or another, I had marked my progress and I'm about halfway done with this pink. In any case, I think seven for this line is a good number. I do think that as I finish some off, that I will probably uh, expand the color range a little bit. I mean, I don't think that I need three different gray nail polishes from the same brand. That seems uh, kind of excessive. I have one Wet n Wild Fast Dry Nail Polish. It's this beautiful blue shade. I'm very happy with this color. I just bought this a couple months ago and uh, I think it's beautiful. I wish that they had a lot more shades in this fast dry line because it's a really quick drying formula. This does dry almost instantly. It does need two coats though. So, you know, kind of a trade off there, but I'm really impressed with it. I like this a lot. And uh, once I start polishing off <laughs> some of these other polishes, I will really consider purchasing another one from this line. Finally, I have one glitter. That seems just about right to me. And I feel like that's a that's a good little assortment of nail polishes. I don't want my numbers to go down particularly as far as these full size polishes go, but I do want to sort of change the distribution. I want to see some more sort of deeper colors and to expand a little bit beyond these grays. All right, so that is my inventory for everything that is beauty related but not makeup. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll come back next year to see uh, how my little goals have gone. And I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed and I really hope I'll see you next time. Bye.